hi guys this is jackson here and uh, recently i got a comment on my video that i had previously done for converting hand drawn sketches into digital art so the comment that had come is uh, quite genuine so what the user has mentioned is that uh, please make the uh, more videos on this i want to know how to make outline of your drawing little thick so i understand what the person is trying to say what they mean i think is when if the line drawing is very thin then in that case uh, even after converting the illustration the uh, the line of the the line that is there of in the entire drawing it becomes very thin and it might not be visible so they might want it to make it thicker so uh, as an example what i'll do is this line drawing that i have made i'll use this so as the earlier video i'll be using the gimp tool as well so as i had mentioned in the earlier video also gimp is an open source tool so you can download it for free you can use it for free it's, it is basically an a uh, free and open source alternative for photoshop so basically we are not paying anything to use this software and it's uh, fairly legal it is not a uh, illegal use like most a uh, lot of people will be using photoshop uh, illegally like they will be downloading crack and all but this is no uh, we are not doing anything like that this is a very uh, clean and proper way of uh, using free software so coming back to the drawing now this is a sample drawing if you see here the lines are very thin or normal as you see i have uh, uh created this drawing using a ballpoint pen so as per our earlier video we'll uh, convert this into black and white first so for that what we do is we go into colors brightness and contrast and we increase the contrast to a level where there is only two colors black and white in the video correct so here if you see now uh there is only two colors the there is no other visible color available there is only the white and the lines that are there that are, those are in black so this is fine enough for me i'll give okay and it will apply so once this is done now what we want is as per the person's comment we want to make this line thick so to do that first what we do is we select the other section that is the white section first because even though this is black there might still be traces of a different color as well because uh, the ballpoint the color of the ballpoint might, might not be exactly black in all areas so if you see here the small points that are there it is kind of grayish also so for that purpose what we do is instead of selecting black we select the white color so to do that right click and in the select option select by color and you click on anywhere in the white area so it will select all areas in the entire image which are in white color okay now what we want to do is we want to select the inverse or the ulta of this uh, selection so whatever is not white that will get selected so to do that what we do is uh, let uh, we keep the existing selection as is we right click again we click on select and we select invert <clears throat> so now if you see the black portion is selected so now the to make the lines thick what we can do is uh we again click on right click we have an option of select and inside that select option there is an option of grow so what this grow will do is the existing selection that is that we have done this line selection it will grow the selection basically increase the thickness of the selection so we click on that option grow and we select the option uh, uh, we provide the number of pixels by which the selection should grow so if you see now this image is a uh, not much big and not much so small but uh, if you want to increase the selection uh, like uh, to a enough size like for example now if we consider this uh, black selection as one and if you want to make it double the size 
then what we do is we give here around two pixels or something like that not much because otherwise it will become very thick so we can do that we can first try with uh, 2px here and we give ok so now if i just zoom in using shift and plus so now if you see here here the selections it has increased by two pixels from all sides the dashed line that you see is the selection and the black is the color that we had selected earlier so it has increased the uh, selection by by some uh, some size so uh, what we do now is once we have increased the selection this is for me now considering that this amount of uh, growth is enough in that case what i do is i use the color picker tool that is there uh, color picker tool i am not sure where it is there in the menu but uh, because i use the keyword too much if i click on the o button it will convert into the color picker okay so this is the color picker tool once i have done that i will click on any point in the black color selection so that will make this black color as my active color here if you can see here then what i will do is i'll just zoom out a little bit so that i can see the entire image now the current selected area is this grown area that we have selected now what i'll do is i'll use the paint brush tool here not the bucket the paint brush tool i'll keep a very uh, good enough size like almost to half of the uh, bar here so don't worry it will not apply on the entire thing it will only apply on the selected areas that is just the grown areas so now if you see the magic i'll just zoom it a little bit okay i'm not able to zoom maybe because of the brush if you see here i'm applying the brush now and wherever i'm applying the brush it is increasing the thickness so if you see now this has increased the thickness by a lot of amount so now what i do is i'll just select and i'll give none so that nothing is selected and we can view our result so as if you can see here it has increased the selection by so much amount here so i hope uh, this video is useful for you and uh, you guys have understood how to uh, make a line thicker and use it so this might give you a bit uh, crush lines because it basically magnifies your line so if your line is crooked it will magnify the line and the shape will also if you see here there are some shape uh, lines that are there so in that case what you can do is you can just select the color picker again you select the white color and then uh, you use the paint brush but with a very small size up to here and you just uh, erase the sections that you don't want that you think are uh, not necessary for example this uh, corner here that i thought is not proper and in the hair also here this section like this just to finish uh, the art properly so that you get a very clean finish so uh, this is how you actually uh, thick uh, make the lines thick i hope you like this video and uh, if you have any other comments uh, or any other requirements please share in the comment box so that i can uh, try my best to solve those issues and uh, have a nice day thank you